Okay, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. If you are new, hello, my name is Kylie, and I'm so happy that you are here. I live full-time in my RV with my cat, Luna, and I'm betting that if you clicked on this video, you are debating as to whether or not van life is right for you. And I'm here to tell you the reasons why RV life might be a better fit for you than van life would be. I've mentioned many times that there was a time in my life that I thought I wanted to do van life and I ultimately obviously decided on RV life. And there was a lot of thinking and a lot of decision making that went into that. So I'm going to share that with you today and hopefully help you make the decision as to if you are wanting to be a digital nomad like I am or just travel full time, maybe take an extended vacation even, why you should probably get an RV. And along the way, I might also share some cons to RV life, so stick around. My first pro to choosing RV life over van life is the cost of it. Now, of course, this really depends on your needs and what you want in an RV. Uh, they can really, really range in price from as little as $1,000 to basically buying another house. So it really depends on what you want. There's three kinds of RVs and I'm going to go over them really quickly. There is pull behind, which just is on the bumper of your car, or probably truck. There is fifth wheel, which is the kind that I have, which just requires a special hitch that sits in the bed of a truck, uh, helps with maneuverability, all that stuff. And then there's more of like a motor home RV which are like the class C's and the class A's that you people normally think of when they think RV are the ones that you can drive. I have a fifth wheel, which means that I had to have a truck, which could also be another expense if you don't have one already. Um, but if you do have a truck, a fifth wheel is a good option. A pull behind, you kind of just need any car that has a decent pull rating. Uh, for the weight of your rig. So for my RV, I paid 6800 for it and it was in really, really decent condition. Okay, I barely had to do anything to it. It could have gone on the road the exact same day that I bought it without doing any renovations. You cannot touch that if you're looking at buying a van, especially the kinds of vans that everyone has on YouTube. Uh, when they are like normal van life YouTubers, they have usually, I'm not saying everybody, but the ones that are like the most popular are like the Mercedes Benz. And those can literally be 50, 60, maybe even $80,000. Definitely cheaper to go the RV route. And for someone like me who's young, straight out of college, doesn't have a lot of money in savings, it was the best option. The second pro to RV life over van life is you can have a separate vehicle. When you live in a van, you literally are living in the exact same vehicle that you are driving around in. If you get an RV, depending on if you get one that's a pull behind or one that you drive, you can still have a separate vehicle attached. Obviously, I need a vehicle to pull my RV, so I have my own truck that I can detach my RV and take my truck into town if I don't want to bring this along with me, which is really a lifesaver when it comes to going anywhere that is even remotely close to a city. Um, but you can also, if you have an RV that you drive, you can have a car that is pulled behind your rig that you can also detach and go places with. I know a lot of people prefer this and it's so much easier when you're trying to go anywhere. I can't imagine if I were to just have an RV, especially one that you drive, and try to go anywhere with it. Like it just <laughs> would be so stressful and I'd probably have to Uber everywhere and it wouldn't really make any sense. So I recommend RV Life if you want to have a separate detached vehicle. And for me, it was a safety thing too. Like for example, if I'm driving down the road and something happens to my RV, I'm not in it. I'm not at the risk of like wrecking my home. Or on the flip side, if I had to put my truck in the shop, like I needed an oil change or I needed something, my house literally isn't in the shop with me. I can detach my house and put the car in the shop where it needs to get fixed and it's not like when you have a van 
and you need to do any sort of maintenance on it, it even like the littlest thing like an oil change, you have to either buy a hotel for the night or you have to ask them, my light just died, or you have to ask them if you can stay in the shop because you literally live in your vehicle. <laughs> I will say too that a lot of campsites I've found are more forgiving um, or I don't know if forgiving is the right word, but just tolerant on having actual RVs in their campground. Um, I have seen rules where it's like they have special van or RV parking, and I've even seen some campgrounds um, or RV parks that don't allow vans in them. But as like a little bit of a pro for the van life, they can fit a lot more places than I could with my rig. So if they just wanted to, you know, stealth camp on a street overnight, or if they wanted to do a free campsite uh, that's out like in the middle of nowhere, they are a lot more maneuverable than a RV is, like one that I have. So that is something that van life is better for. But I knew that I would want constant electricity and constant water and being able to shower and everything like that. So I was willing to give up that maneuverability for being able to have more of a semblance of an actual home, if that makes sense. Which leads me into my next point of RVs have bathrooms and showers, which most vans that people have built out themselves do not. That was my biggest deterrent from doing van life was not having running water or a bathroom with me. I've seen a lot of people who are fine with having to go out into the outdoors and bring a shovel and dig a hole. And that's great for them. That's not something that I wanted to do at all. Was not interested in having to go outside to go to the bathroom in any circumstance. <laughs> so I needed a bathroom and then also I shower quite often. It's not like I can go a week without showers, so not being able to shower in my own home really irked me as well. So those were, I think, some of my biggest reasons for choosing RV life over van life because I just needed to have somewhere that felt like a house, that I wasn't just living out of a vehicle. So I will mention, I think probably my only con to RV life over van life um, is that not a lot of people my age do this. And it is tough to go to a campground and be surrounded by old people. I love old people, so I'm fine with it. I don't mind. <laughs> um, not even just old people, but it is a lot of retirees or traveling people who are established in their careers. And you don't find a lot of people who work from home, like me, who are living in an RV under like 30 or 35. Most people are retired. Like I said, I don't mind it because I keep to myself anyway and I really haven't spent that much time alone. I've been with my parents pretty much the whole time. I've lived in the RV, so that really helps as well. Uh, so I'm not completely alone, but it is tough to try to find people my age who relate to this kind of lifestyle and there's a really low chance if I were to go to any RV park that I would find someone who is my age. So that is what's tough. Um, there are, I think, a lot more people who choose the van life or the bus life or um, those kind of smaller because a lot of people think of RVs as being for old people and that kind of is what they are in our society, but we live for breaking the norms over here on this channel. <laughs> so that is one thing I've never been scared of is doing things that other people don't. So I wasn't worried about it at all and I'm loving it so far. So if it's any testament to how this lifestyle is, it depends on who you are. It really, really does. It just comes down to what you like, your preferences. So I could sit here and I could tell you all day why I love RV life over van life. 
And then you could find someone else on this platform who will tell you why they love van life over RV life. And we're completely different people. So you have to know yourself. Uh, but these are hopefully things that you haven't thought of before that maybe helped kind of make the decision a little more clear for you. If you are choosing to do a nomadic lifestyle, I personally really recommend RV life because things just feel so much easier. I'm not living in a 10 by 10 square box. I have decent square footage. It is small compared to a normal house, but it's way bigger than a van. And just the stability of being able to detach my home from my vehicle and go wherever I want to go in that regard uh, and not have to worry about always having my home with me and also always having my cat with me. If I were to live in a van, Luna would be with me wherever I would go. And this just feels so much more regulated and much more normal to compared to like a normal house because I still plug in, I have electricity, I have running water, I have hot water, because I have a hot water heater, a lot of vans don't have that. Uh, I have a full-size bed and a full-size kitchen, and that is just something that I knew I needed, was the space to feel like I was in a house. Because if you are living in full-time, then it's a space you're in, all day, all night, unless you're out somewhere. You have to come home to this space. You have to sleep in this space. You have to wake up in this space. And I don't think a lot of people think about that fully on how comfortable you would be living 24-7 out of a tiny van. And that was it for me was the space. Um, I know I've mentioned that a lot, but that was a huge factor uh, not to mention, it's cheaper to do RV life, and overall, it's just so much more comfortable. I hope this brought some insight as to what you're trying to do. If you have any questions whatsoever, leave them down in the comments below. I will answer them there. But otherwise, that's it for today. I love you so, so much, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!